Welcome back, rail fans. It's another Trains with Shane video on the I Saw It Online YouTube channel. I'm not really sure what to call this. It's a. Uh, it's not really a will it run because I'm pretty sure it will because it's a brand new Kato, just like last week. But it's. Um, I guess it's kind of a review or a showcase or whatever you want to call it. So as you guys remember last week, we took a look at the custom painted Texas, or not Texas, Trinity Railway um, Express um, F40PH right here that a buddy of mine painted up. And uh, for those that are not familiar with, uh, TRE runs between Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, and has a couple of other stops, mid-cities and things like that. Um, they only very recently purchased and painted up some F40 PHs, and I was so excited about that because the F40 is, is one of my favorite passenger diesels of all time. It's up there with the SDP40, but there I don't think there are any SDP40s in mainline service anymore, but... The F40 PH being such a huge success for Amtrak and and uh, a bunch of other lines that they are still pretty common in rail, um, in a, what am I looking for here, um, revenue mainline service, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so much so that they are still being rebuilt and refurbished by a lot of carriers, including... Um, Progress Rail, who uh, sold the uh, the F40s, two of them, uh, 130 and 131, to uh, Trinity Railway. Um, but our focus for today is not Trinity Railway or Progress Rail. It is, if you haven't guessed it already, MBTA, or Massachusetts Bay Area Transit. get a look see what we got here um, I have never been to Massachusetts or the Bay Area um, I'm not really sure if I have any plans to do so I, I certainly wouldn't mind if someone bought me a trip out there but um, I've got a couple friends um, who are from Boston or from the uh, the area out there uh, Massachusetts New England um, I've got some friends a little further up in New England um, up in Jersey New York things like that um, I first just discovered MBTA um, just in passing in uh, learning about the F40 PH uh, oddly enough amongst other things um, if I remember correctly it may have been on uh, one of the uh, engines of Amtrak videos um, on Amtrak Guy 365 um, on his channel, I think. Can't remember. Getting old. It, you know, they say the memory is the first thing to go, and I can't recall what the other things are. So, anyway, what do we have here? So, we've got an F40 PH in the standard. I call it pink. Um, it's kind of a, a magenta y pinkish purple um, livery. Um, I don't know why. Um, I like this so much, but it's it's a pretty eye-catching livery to me. Um, unfortunately, no one currently makes MBTA um, stuff in N scale. Um, a while back, there was a model power F40PH, um, so you may find one of those floating around, but those are, are very old. Um, and they're not the best of runners, but if you're looking for something to just sit around. Um, or you can do what I did and have my buddy custom paint me up um, an MBTA F40. Um, let's get this thing out. As you can see, it started life as a Caltrain unit. Um, dressing, he's out in California. All right, this is the first time getting this thing out of the box to look at it, actually. So you guys are sharing that with me, nice and shiny, as a, as a new locomotive should be. A um, little bit dusty. Um, 
but we're okay with that. So this is unit 1001. Um, it has been modified with the Mars light, I think, in the middle. Um, I'm not sure if this unit comes standard like that or not. I've got an Amtrak um, F40, but it's it's put away, so I, I don't have it to reference. Um, yeah, it's a standard Kato unit. Um, no real big modifications. No uh, no parts added, unlike the uh, the TRE one, which has some AC units and stuff on the top. Um, at some points in time, you'll see F40s for MBTA will have the road number in big gold numbers on the top, um, so they can be identified from above. Um, you'll notice our little American flag here. Some units have them, some don't. Um, some units have them during... Um, different times in their careers and some don't come on phone work with me there there we go um the circle t emblem there the road number 1001 um i don't quite recall if these units typically have silver trucks or if they're black like the uh, tre units but I, I don't really care that much um a very good looking little unit here. Got our number boards back there. Of course our front number boards with decals. Um, there, my, my friend built two of these. I only needed one. Um, he's currently got the other listed for sale on eBay and it is up for another 20 hours and 8 minutes as of the recording of this video. Um, once I'm done recording, I'm going to edit this, um, get it uploaded and posted, hopefully for uh, an early Monday morning uh, release, whatever day of the month it is, I can't remember. Um, the 21st will be Monday, March 21st, 2022. So yeah, not a lot to say about this other than it looks fantastic. Um, I am going to leave um, a link to um, my buddy's Facebook page where he does these. He doesn't do these as a business. Um, he just does them on the side, you know, when he wants something, he custom paints it for himself. And, and he does uh, does side work for friends and, and if someone wants one. Uh, he also does um, decoder installs and he does the little surface mount LEDs and stuff. Um, I will post both links to his Facebook page and a little YouTube channel he has that shows some demos of some of the stuff he's done. Um, he's done some really cool units. He did a, a Salt Lake, um, Salt Lake City, Utah Olympic Games um, train, which I think was actually done um, in real life, and he uh, duplicated that really cool with sound um, he's got an f40 ph on there that um, he added the amtrak um, strobes the strobes on top that they have and uh working alternating ditch lights and and sound and all that cool stuff it, it's really cool um one of these days i may have him put together a, a unit for me with sound but um yeah beautiful unit uh, you should go buy the other one before i have a moment of weakness and buy it myself um so enough talking uh, let's get this over onto a track and find out what it does and what it does not do i will see you over there all right guys we've made room for the ingle nook switching layout the portable one that uh i got from steve's trains we have mbta number 1001 on the track so let's turn on our track power 
pick a direction, forward in this case, and dial in a little voltage. Up about 50, 60%, we're getting live here. There's our ditch lights and our headlight, and she's moving out. Good slow speed. As Kados tend to have even on DC. Right, let's switch back to reverse, dial it up. We'll fed in a little bit more power. Okay, back to forward. Let's feed in a little bit more. Lighting, of course, is directional. And this is just DC, not DCC. And send her back and give her all of the onions. She moves out pretty well, as we expected. So let's get back down here to the second turnout. And let's bring her down and park her. All right, so there we've got it. Custom painted Kato F40 PH in N scale, Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority, um, unit 1001. There wasn't really a question on if it would run because this was a new unit in the box before it got painted. So um, head over to uh, either the Facebook or eBay or YouTube channels. Uh, check out some of my buddy's stuff over there. And uh, if you do reach out to him, tell him that Shane sent you. And uh, he'll, he'll do a good job. And I may or may not have something else he's working on for me as well. So expect to see that hopefully in a couple of weeks. Um, I want to apologize with what seems to be like a bunch of the same stuff over and over again guys um i just haven't had a whole lot of time to do more stuff um these little short videos are, are pretty quick to put together and um i've had to put a couple of them together last minute as of late just life stuff getting in the way as it tends to but uh, thankfully we've sprung forward the days are getting longer as far as sunlight goes. And uh, hopefully that'll mean I can get back onto my big N-scale layout that you guys saw um, a couple of months back. Um, I've got all the hardware for it. I've even done a little bit of trial test fitting of some of the replacement turnouts. So um, the big uh, thing holding me back there was uh, weather because that room, although it's heated, isn't very great when it's really cold. Um, and uh, just that room tends to be a, a catch-all for um, storage purposes sometimes for certain things. So um, it's a little bit more organized now. So we'll get back in there and we'll uh, get some more videos on the N-Scale layout. Maybe even a couple more on Chris's O-Gage layout. But... Up until then, I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, we're getting close to 600 views now. That's pretty, not views, uh, 600 um, subscribers, and that's pretty cool. Can't believe there's 600 of you guys out there interested enough in what I'm doing to actually subscribe to it. But I'm real glad you guys are here. So, with that I want to thank you for watching this latest episode with Trains with Shane on the I Saw It Online YouTube channel. So until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.